I finally got my Surging Sparks product. We're gonna be opening a booster box today and we have an ETB as well. I already cracked them open so you guys can, uh, you know, not have to sit and wait for this, for me to cut it, everything open and stuff. I did that beforehand. Um, I apologize about my fingers. I got attacked by a dog, uh, my own dog, actually. They were fighting and uh, two of my dogs were fighting. I intervened and uh, I got my hand absolutely mauled, my two fingers. So I do apologize for that, but I cannot wait any longer to open Surging Sparks. So uh, obviously for cards, we, we would love the, Ooh! okay, Latios. All right. Uh, I was going to say, we'll take that for an IR. This is the one you want. I was going to say. And beautiful card. Okay, this box is starting off pretty good. Now, for obviously the Pikachu, the special illustration rare is the one that we would want monetarily. However, the Alolan Executor SIR is probably one of my chases. I would not be disappointed pulling that. The Latias and Latios. We just got the Latios already. The Latias would be another one that that we would want. And for SIRs, I just pretty much don't want a trainer or Durant if we get one. Ooh, Black Curum. Okay, okay. We pulled this card in Japanese. Not bad. And we will go over the hits at the end. I guess this code card is gone. I try to keep the code cards, but... Yeah, but you guys... I went back to try to use a bunch of mine. I guess I accidentally showed them. And you guys snagged them up. Which is totally fine. Pull rates on the set, if you're not familiar, are very tough. Special illustration rares are... One out of 960. And gold cards are one out of a th over a thousand. I can't remember exactly. Gastrodon. If you're new to the channel, I don't really open a lot of packs. If I'm being honest, because I have been absolutely destroyed by the world and I have lost so much money opening packs. That is why, okay, Black Curum, EX again. That is what led me towards the investing side of everything. So I ordered cases, my cases, a loose ETB and a loose booster box to open. The plan is to only open this one booster box, which is very hard for me to do sometimes and the ETB and keep everything else sealed. Obviously boxes right now of this set, I think on TCG, they're in the 170s, which is above MSRP. Also, we've talked, I've talked about this before in some of my other openings, Precious Trolley, that's it. Um, my, my hands have been shaking for like a few months now. I finally was able to get in to the doctor with our wonderful healthcare system here. And they wanted, originally I wasn't able, I wasn't gonna be able to get in for like a year. So my hands are still shaking because I have a, sorry, I feel, I feel the need to explain this to you guys because of my hand, <laughs> I feel like it's a little embarrassing. I have a hyperactive thyroid apparently, which is something I didn't really know anything about. And causes me to shake, have an elevated heart rate, and I have to go see a specialist, which of course I can't get into right away, and really affects me when I'm doing this. 
Makes my voice shaky. It's, it is what it is. So just wanted to lay that on the table out there for you guys because it'd be weird if you're watching this and you're like, dang, this guy's messed up. He's shaking all over the place. His fingers are messed up. Yeah. Uh, anyways, back to the finger thing. Well, I'll fully address that. So we have three dogs and they're a little, they get a little food. Uh, what's the word? Like competitive over food. And you know, they've, oh yes, Cerulege. Okay, this is another IR that I did want. I forgot about this card actually. Uh, I will take this all day long. This is a pretty decent box so far. I've seen some people have some pretty bad boxes. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good so far. Those are those are the IRs you want. Anyways, uh, one dog went after the other while we were we weren't even feeding them. We were just making. I was making dinner. Went after the other one. Not like bad. It was just like a like a growl and just like hey get away from me kind of thing. Kind of bumped into the other one a little. Well, then the other one went into like that rage. The, the, when they go into that rage, if you've ever seen them, there's nothing that can stop them. And my wife had one. So we learned early on, if it happens, grab them. Ooh, Sylveon. Nice rainbow EX. Grab them underneath their back legs so you don't get bit, right? That's, and, you know, usually I can just yell, do a little yell, pull them apart. It's not a big deal. Well, she was, one of them was in the frenzy and had the other one's leg. Could not get them apart. I'm pulling one, she's pulling the other one. Could not get them apart no matter what. And the one, the, the smaller one is the one that actually bit me. It's, that one's getting its leg just gnawed on. And somehow I, we got turned, got mixed up in there. And I don't know why I knew better. I put my left hand in there to try to help pull them apart and it just got gnawed on she just the one that was getting bit was just trying to bite to protect herself to latch onto anything and just absolutely destroyed my fingers i would show you guys the pictures of how bad it was but probably get my uh video demonetized for that but the good news is is that i think i'll be okay i'm just gonna have some scars on my fingers and for our I can actually move them a little bit. It's been a few days now, so looks like everything is healing up nicely. Okay, so that was half. We are halfway through with this booster box. That was the left side. We're going right side. And I think that is all I have to talk about <laughs> for me. You now know everything about me. But yeah, it's a little, it can be a little embarrassing. The shaky hands and stuff. So yeah, I'm having a, a wee bit of a rough go of it currently. So yeah, it happened, but my my shakiness and everything. Oh, and also I'm really tired and weak, like weaker than normal. But it happened while we were visiting Japan. If you guys saw any of those videos, I kind of talked about it. Okay, this box is, we're due. I think we're due for something. But uh, it... It happened while we were in Japan. That's when we really noticed it. And we thought it was, and the doctor thought it was anxiety, because I do have really bad social anxiety. Kilowattrol. It does keep me from doing a lot of things that I want to do. I have to push through them. But, uh, and I was like, I was like, well, I mean, I know what it feels like to have anxiety, and I was preparing myself for this trip. I had a little bit, but I didn't think it was crippling to, like, raise my heart rate, cause me to start shaking. But, turns out it wasn't. It wasn't my fault. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll get that fixed soon. I'd like to feel normal. But, our healthcare system here is pretty much a joke and it's hard to get in and 
well, my past experiences have been really bad. Just like doctors don't care. Like when I'm telling them I have something wrong, they're like, yeah, you should, that, that, yeah, you should fix that. And just like not offering to do anything. The new doctor is doing much better though. So I'm optimistic that I can start feeling better. <laughs> At this point, it's not going to be till like, oops, it's not going to be till next year, but we'll keep doing it. Keep working towards it. And here I am, just a guy spilling my heart out to the internet while I'm opening some cards. And we are due. Oh, I drag on. Okay. We are due for something more than these regular EXs. So this is... This is the point where I start to get a little nervous. Just because... I told myself I wasn't going to get into my cases. I was going to keep them sealed. Oh, there might be something in here. I was going to keep them sealed. Oh, it's an ace spec. Special energy. Oh, and the Bruxish. Okay. This is a cool... You know... This fish has got some big lips. But I will take it for an illustration rare. The big lipped fish. And, you know, these ace specs... I wish I was playing the TCG like competitively, like at my LGS. Once again, anxiety. I can't do it. Because I would love to appreciate the ace specs by using them. Because they're not really... They do... They look nice. You know, and I put them in my binder, but they don't do nothing there. They just don't do it for me. Because I know that they're powerful. They're... It's like one per deck, right? Ooh, Jasmine's Gaze. Okay. All right, well, we're we're getting some hits here. A few more packs. A few more. And then we also have the ETB that we are going to open. So a few more packs left after that, or after this booster box. Don Fan, Fuecoco. I am just butchering this. Come on, we can get something here. Nerp. Let me know uh, in the comments what your guys' luck has been for this set. Some people, some people obviously, it happens every set. I've had pretty amazing luck. Some people have been getting hosed. Booster boxes have been tough. All right, Eternatus. Sandy Gast. We want the Pikachu. We want the Pikachu. Swabaloo, Eternatus. It's not. Oops. The Pikachu would be in that first reverse slot. Right? Can't remember. I should have been paying. I think that's where the SIRs come. I don't know. It's been a minute. Mankey. You know that Ho O -Oh card? There's the regular one. Just the common. That card, back in the day, before they had all these full arts and SIRs and stuff, that would have been a cool card. It's just one of those, one of those things we've evolved past. No, Milotic, okay. EX. A lot of these EXs, so I think a lot of people were getting between like 12 to 15 hits if you're considering the EX a hit, which think technically it is it's not what we want but it's what we got so hit hit rates on the boxes have been up it's just not really the cards you want been playing the tcg pocket oh okay all right not the not the alolan executor we were wanting but i will take this the florida christmas tree is here okay all right I think we got like two packs left and I don't think we're going to get anything else really because it feels like we've had a lot of hits. But we have three packs left on the booster box. Not bad. See, I normally, like I said about my cases, gosh, see here's the ho. -Oh. We would have loved that card back in the day. But now it doesn't do nothing for us. I 
I told myself I wasn't going to get into my sealed cases. Because I don't normally. And actually, I never have. Every time I get a case, I've... What did I just do? There's a card in here. Didn't pull it out. It's just a base card. Okay. Because I never get into them. But this is like... This is when being a collector... And the collector side of me always screws me over. Because I want to open more. It's that Chase Pikachu card. I want to pull an expensive card. That's what it comes down to. And this is the last pack of the booster box. So some last pack magic, possibly. Gravity Mountain and nothing. Okay. Next up, the ETB. We'll take a look at the promo. Very, very nice promo. Uh, they package this with the ETB dividers now, which helps keep the card from being damaged. I'll just set that off to the side. Oh, and actually, before we go any further, we will go over the booster box hits. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we're right in that range, maybe on the slightly on the lower side. Now we have, oops, my alarm is going off on my wrist. Okay, Ooh, that pack opened nicely. Can the ETB do big things for us? Traditionally, ETBs, in my experience, have not been good. They've been pretty bad, which is fine. I know some people, you know, luck is luck. But for me, it's been rough. I 151 ETBs and UPCs got destroyed in my openings. Uh, booster bundles are traditionally, for me, what does good. Striking out on this ETB. And I'll make, a, I'll make sure to keep a separate stack here for these. I also have was thinking about opening the Pokemon Center ETBs, or one at least, to try and grade the Magneton stamped promo, but, ooh, Skarmory, okay. Pulled this in Japanese, is this a, okay. Pulled this in Japanese, really like this card. Like the Pokemon, really like the art, he's chilling on the vans. All right, ETBs doing things for us. Totally forgot what I was saying before that. Trap Inch, Xerneas, Spartha, yes, you're done. All right, guys, take these code cards, I guess. <laughs> they need a bigger desk. I say this every time. This is the only place where we're just going to toss the base cards right here. We're going for it. Execute, another kilowattrol. Okay, a few more packs here. Ah, you know what's nice? Oh, smell of fresh cards. I don't, I ain't nothing in this pack, I can tell. Yep. All right, three more ETBs. Appreciate you guys. If you guys are this far in the video, what is it? 18 minutes. Really appreciate you guys. Appreciate the comments, appreciate the support. Been doing daily, daily videos every single day. So I really appreciate you guys. And I'm losing, my cards are falling everywhere now. Okay, it's too much going on. All right, two packs left. Clearly, I am not a normal, <laughs> I don't just open cards on my channel because I would be better at, better at it by now, you would think. It's a cute Vulpix, Victini. Come on, we gotta get, we gotta get, we got, okay. Last pack. Last pack. Come on. These code cards are so beat up. Not that it matters, but they really beat them up. All right, Bronzor. This is the last one. We'll slow roll it a little bit. Volcrana, Walrein, Magnezone. Uncle Dango, Shellos, and we're slow rolling it for no reason. Okay, 
So that is going to do it. That's, I, I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. Um, ETB had Kilowattril and Skarmory. I do like Skarmory a lot. So that is how you lose money opening cards and why I don't normally do it. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.